Hi guys, so welcome to the first program in this playlist of recursion. So what is a recursive function called? A recursive function is those functions which has the capacity to call itself over and over again. So when I have a recursive function body, when I define the function uh, recursive functions body, I need two most important things inside the body. One is the recursive call. There has to be a statement which means that the function is calling to itself. So there has to be a function call to the function itself. And the second thing is there has to be a condition which helps in termination of this repeated function call. These are the most important things when you look at a recursive function call. So now we have a program to print from 1 to n using recursion. Printing from 1 to n using a normal printf statement, let's say n is equal to 3. So what is the printf statement supposed to do? This is the basic job, printf1, printf2 and printf3. Because we cannot write these statements repeatedly for every value of n, we switched over to a much more, uh, let's say, a much more refined method of iteration using loops, where we bring in something known as a loop variable, and we check that the condition satisfies, and we keep in incrementing the value of the loop variable, and you just print out that statement or that value of the variable. So we shifted from writing statements to an iteration where you start from 1, you go to the value of n and you keep printing the value. Now from here, we shift to a recursive function call. So recursive function call is, what is a recursive call? Repetition of the same thing has to be done over and over again through the help of a function call becomes a recursive function call. So what am I supposed to do is, I do the same way as the iteration. I start from 1, I go on till n. But here, it is not an increment in the form of a loop variable. It is an increment in the form of a function call. So what do I do? Let's say my recursive function name is going to be a recursive print. And I pass the value of n to it. So let's say n starts from 1 over here. Now I have to print from 1 to 3. In this, right now what I'll do is, I will print the value. Printf, statement for writing, printing the value is printf, sorry I forgot to put the percentage %d, percentage %d slash t and I've printed the value of i, sorry n. Now once I printf this value, what should I do? Go over to the next value. So next value, this going over to the next value has to be implemented through the recursive function call. So the recursive function call already has a statement for printing the value. So when I have to go to the next function call for the next variable, I write the same function first. And now, what value should I do? What should I give as the parameter? So, printf value is done for the first variable of n. So, what is n? 1. So, I have to go to the next value of 2. So, this will be done by n plus 1 given as the next parameter. So, the two statements inside my recursive function call is 1, the printf statement because my job is to print and then a recursive call to itself passing the next number because the crux of the program involves a printf statement only. So I have to pass the next statement for the print. So I will do it as RECP with the parameter n plus 1. Now the recursive function call is done. So how do I state what is the condition for it to terminate? So what is the value of uh, n at where, where we should terminate, the value is 3 right now. So I can write if 
n is less than or equal to 3 do these two statements if the n's value crosses the value of 3 like say 4 this part won't execute so if this part doesn't execute there is no recursive function called so it stops over there okay so this is the main body of the recursive function now there is no return statement hence we can say that the return type is so now comes I have started from 1 I have gone till 3 let me write this much more neatly and I'll explain to you so I have written my function void recp with the parameter n passed to it the function the sorry the condition is if n is less than or equal to 3 it should printf the value of n percentage d slash t it should print n and after that i'll have one more recursive call to the next value that's all now how do we implement this recursion is we have something known as a function call stack the function call stack allocates memory to the function being called when it starts from main itself so let's say I called from main as recp with 1 because I'm going to start from 1 and I'm going to uh, print all the way to 3. So when recp 1 is being called, n's value is passed as 1 the first time and recp is passed as 1. Now 1 is less than or equal to 3 is true thereby it prints the value 1 and it calls the next one with n plus 1. So n plus 1 meaning another copy of variable is created with n's value as 2. That means recp of 2 is done. So 2 is less than or equal to 3 at this condition. So it will go ahead and print the value of 2. And the next function call with n plus 1 is kept. Meaning now n's value is passed as 3. And the next function called recp of 3 is created in the function call stack. Now 3 is less than or equal to 3 is true. Thereby it prints the value of 3. Now again the function is called with n plus 1. So recp is called with n plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. So the next value passed as n is 4. And the next function is called recp of 4. Now 4 is less than or equal to 3 is false thereby that doesn't execute. So that doesn't execute so it comes back to the from where RECP 4 was called. RECP 4 was called from just before the closing bracket. So since it is false it comes over there that means this part is over it doesn't execute. This part is over it doesn't execute so it has come back to the space after the function call is just a closing bracket and after that what do you see another closing bracket so that means there is no execution over there it goes on to recp3 the next function call that also stops again it is only followed by two closing brackets nothing else is there it goes back to the previous function call again just two brackets so it goes on to the previous function call again two brackets and after the function call stack is emptied out it goes back to the main program from where the initial call started so what do you have in your output you have the value of one two three inside your output now during the coding part we will check of how to generalize this value and not give it a constant value because our program is to print from one to so let's move it to the coding part. So look at the coding part of printing numbers from 1 to n using recursion. We'll first print uh, for a set already predefined n. We'll print the numbers from 1 to n. And after that, I'll show you how to generalize your code. So this is my void mean where I'm setting the value of int n is equal to 1. And I'll be writing printf statement numbers and 
I'll call the function rec print with the value n. Now I'll go on to define my rec print function. Take the value int n. So n we are passing right now is the value 1. So let's say I want to print till 10. So n is less than equal to 10 should be the condition where the recursion stops. So printf percentage d space and print the value of n. And call rec print of n plus 1 so that it goes for the next number to be printed. Now, yeah, I'll run the program. It prints numbers from 1 to 10. So, this is a predefined n value has already been run. It will print 1 to 10. If I change this to 20, it will print from 1 to 20. If I change it to 50, it will print from 1 to 50. Now, I want to generalize this for a set of uh, n numbers which is provided from the user. So, I will change this to i this to i, this to i, all the n values which I had done, I will print it, change it to i, this to i. So, i is going to be a counter starting from 1 till the n value and I will be defining another value n over here and I will be taking it from the user as input, printf, enter, n. Scanf percentage d amperes and n. Now I will be printing numbers up to and the n value which is taken from the user. I will put a comma here and put n. I will call the function with two variables i starting from 1 and n till where I want to print it. Therefore, I have to add one more parameter here, int n and I will change this to n and in REC print in the recursive function call also, I will put n. So, once I have finished all that, I think it should work. Yeah, I will go about running the program. So, enter n, I will enter the value 10. And it prints numbers up to 10. If I change it to let's say 40, it should print all the numbers from 1 to 40. There can be different ways of how you write. As long as you implement recursion, as long as you put in the condition to terminate and as long as you have a flexible value of n, any way you write the code, it should work fine. Thank you.